Hey guys, and welcome to World Tour. This is the first game in the plot block, though I will admit by this point it's more like the premise block. The premise for this game is ridiculous. You are a roadie. Your band, Flipside, the members have been stolen away by some evil scientist, and you need to uh, go get them back. And then there's like no more cutscenes throughout the game, right? Right, Pretty right, much. right. So this is really just... You'll go to a level, you'll do objectives, you'll, uh, well, you'll see at the end of this, you get the chance to save one of your bandmates per level, and then you do, and you go to the next one. Played by, you, and you're playing Wasa, Wasa B? Wasa B. I'm sorry. Don't want to get that mixed up. No. So explain this trick setup thing. Alright, trick setup. This game is, well, very similar to Tony Hawk. So, circle tricks are more grabs, the square tricks are more like, you know, flip tricks, you've got grinds, you can... But you can, Stop. like, set up your own yeah. tricks and stuff. And then the sick airs are, like, the special moves. This game will have an adrenaline bar, and then you can bust out higher-scoring, cooler-looking moves. And yes, you can, like, set whatever move you want to whatever combination you want, but there's a limited amount. You can set one of, like, ten moves. And you can it's... repeat them over and over, so you can make everything a man you will know is bar or something. It... That's kind of cool. It's yeah. a kind of cool feature game, for a game that the gameplay... Yeah, playing. the game's got some pretty good things, and you know, to, I'm going to uh, break character, not character, but say a line from the other version of the commentary. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since I've played a good, simple game about riding around and doing objectives, and it's going to be a while until I play a good game. Right. Because World Tour is not a good game. It has some interesting ideas, and then just... It does. Crave made it. C Crave Vivendi. That's like the combination. So was Vivendi involved with this? Yes, they they are on the cover. The sad thing is, like, I don't hate Vivendi nearly as much as I hate Crave. Crave just it's just they don't even try when they go looking for things. To so publish. after uh, you, this game was a little clunky to begin with when you when you started playing it. Yes. And it, some of you, well, just a couple of you may, may know that we did a, uh, yeah. a stream of it, and uh, some of you showed up, and that was cool. We might do that, we might do that again for uh, the other, other games. games. We, don't, we, we haven't decided yet. So yeah, I, I did something new, and I, I streamed the very first time I played this game. And on so, Twitch. On Twitch, and so we saw that it takes about an hour and 45 minutes for this game to make any sense. Right. And as you can Did see, you spawn I, a new? I'm still having a little bit of trouble because there's a few minor things. Well, I guess minor being that the game likes to have you do a second trick after you do a trick, and so that crashes you. Hmm. But so everything is here, you know, an open level where you can ride around. That one was my fault. Right. You've got flip tricks. Air tricks, grind tricks, you can manual, you can put combos together, you're trying to fill up the adrenaline bar that's on the right, and then you've got environmental hazards. One of the unique things about this game is there are two bosses in each level. Not really big bosses, but you need to fight them to get keys to unlock a locked gate to get to the hidden transmitter in each level. And you need to destroy the hidden transmitter to, to, act to actually finish the level and to get the race level. Right. Um, so let's talk about let's talk about the good things in this game. The the music selection. Yeah, the music selection. That just caught my ear. It's uh it's surprisingly good. Yeah. Uh, they have some boy sets fire in the song. You guys know how much we like boy sets yeah. fire. Yeah. To then... think in an alternate universe, I discovered boy sets fire because I looked up world tour footage instead of Danny Avalanche. Yeah, that, 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 that would be horrendous. I would have been turned off so hard. But, yeah, a really good mix of songs, and actually the main menu music done by Peanut Butter Wolf is probably the best thing about this game, honestly. <laughs> Which tells you a lot about the bad. Did you just teleport? Uh, I fell into a moat. Also, another good thing, you, the place. you will see tokens hidden at the level. Right. There are a lot of blue variants, and there is a few yellow ones. Some of them are scooter tokens. You get 20 of those, you get a new scooter. But some of them are power-ups, like some of them will increase your next spin and make you spin really fast, or jump really high. Boy sets fire, there we go. Yeah. And the yellow ones are balance pickups, so if you're grinding for a really long time, and you're wobbling all over the place and you're barely holding on, you pick up the balance pickup and it resets the speed that your balance meter's changing back to, like, nothing. 
which is really good because this game it actually lays out the levels so that you have some pretty good lines. Because I, I remember there, there have been plenty of games. Plenty of these... Oh, nice. Uh, so that was a spin pickup and then and then the, uh, yeah. uh, a catapult. Yeah, one of the things in this level is a catapult. You, you know every time, every time in every game where you can make your own level, you people always, well, at least I did, I'd always do one if there was any way to, like, launch the player. Right. I'd always just launch the person across the level, even if they die when they hit the ground. So, good good to the developers for embracing that. Yeah. Uh, what I was going to say was a lot of these extreme sports games have, like, really long grind sections, but because they don't have any way to rebalance you while you're, while you're in the grind, it just seems, like, really difficult or really impossible because you're... Yeah, you're f you're f supposed to fucking maintain your balance for like a long, long period of time, and and this game avoids that problem. Yeah, um, which is cool. It does something to counteract that, and also you are on a motor scooter, not just a regular scooter. So the game tries to keep you going forward, which is a good thing and a bad thing. It means you never like stall out on a rail and start sliding back down it if you're trying to grind up towards something. Although, as Tinker pointed out in the other video, uh, that doesn't quite make any sense. No, it doesn't make sense how you start going faster when neither of your wheels are touching anything. Right. The bad side is this game does not like you coming to a complete stop, and so it is really hard to set anything up. Like, this ramp where I just need to ride straight up it to collect a CD takes like four tries. Yeah. I need to stop, go, okay, let's do this, and then, yeah. and then I can get it. And sometimes these bosses can be difficult to, to hit because the camera just won't pull back. Yeah, well, if you hit the select button, the camera will focus in on a boss. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, oh, I, okay. I do that because otherwise I hit a boss, he goes behind the camera, right. and I can't see him until I turn around and I'm like right in his face. Right. It's the worst. Because you'd have to get really far people's. away otherwise. Yeah. So I guess that's not too bad. Now what about now what about these what about this game isn't so good? We've talked about some of the good things. Um, the inability to really come to a complete stop, right? So it's very hard to make precise jumps. It's very hard to go off a ramp and collect precise things. Um, an overall sort of clunkiness, meaning that you are more likely to wall ride like the little space below a rail than you are grinding it. And the hitboxes in this game are not that great. You basically need to be smack dab oh, okay. on, on a pickup to land to hit it. So that CD, again, well, it's a collection of things. It's the inability to really get a precise jump, but it's also that in, like, Tony Hawk, you know, they'd extend the hitbox out a little bit to give you a little more leniency. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like your character, and maybe this is just me, but I feel like your character's really slow. Like, well, not, like, extremely slow, slower, but it doesn't sure. feel... It doesn't feel like we're even remotely fast. Like it feels too fast to to get to like, to to accurately hit bosses if you don't come to a like a sort of stop, or if you don't like ride way away. Right. To really set yourself up. But but uh, getting around the level feels really slow. It's faster to travel like by rail than it is by ground. Right. Which again, you know, when you're sliding around on the bottom instead of letting the motor push you along. Yeah. Uh, is the how how is the uh, camera otherwise in this game? I mean, you've got the uh, you've got the select to view like focus on the boss, but otherwise, is the camera too close, too far? Uh, doesn't keep up when you bump into corners. How does it react? I don't really I don't really know. Unremarkable. Really unremarkable. Yeah. Yes. It is again. It's more of a inability to be fluid in the actual player movement that I haven't really been able to get mad at the camera. But coming up, you'll see that uh, the way the transformers work is that each... I, I keep switching between transformer and transmitter. It's one of those. There are going to be three things that are powering it, and you need to knock out all three things. And it is going to take me a, a more time. Because um, it's imprecise. Another thing, another small thing you might have seen earlier when I knocked the statue over, uh -huh. which you needed to do to get one of the CDs, and collecting three CDs in the level is one of the goals that is in every level. Okay. A, I would not have known that if I did not see another guy do it in a YouTube video, because B, I grinded like four feet away from the statue's supports, and it toppled over. Right. Like, it didn't really do a good job of showing me that I'm knocking it down, but alright. 
I, I need to make a extremely precise jump to hit yeah. these things, so I feel like I mean, it looked like you went right through that thing. Yeah. Several times, actually. Yeah. Yeah, and th that's kind of a weird corner to be doing that on. Do they expect you to maybe grind around it? Yeah. Uh, if you grinded around it, you'd have to jump to hit them, like you see. Yeah. And... I think I think the way I did it in the stream, like when I streamed, I got like three levels in. Yeah. I think maybe I grinded and got these. I think that might have been what you did. Again. But you saw, you see that I tried that a few times. Yeah. I should be able to. Run, the, the moral of the story is I should be able to run up a half pipe and hit something. I, honestly, it would just be better to have them on the rail, on the yeah. edge, and you could just grind through all Some three of the levels do that. Like Because, I mean, it, when you've gotten here, you shouldn't be making the player work for something that they've already... I mean, like, finding this thing, it's supposed to be hidden. So finding it... Hold on. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Um, and, uh, you know, finding, the, finding this transmitter thing it should be the actual difficult part of this. Once you're here, it shouldn't be a chore to just, like break the things. Like, if there was one big button, and you just bumped into it and it, it activated, I don't think anybody would complain that it was too easy. This is kind of a weird transmitter. Like, the one in the second level, there, the, it's over, like, jumps, but it's obvious what jump you need to do, and you'll hit it every time. And, right. like, the transmitter in the fourth level, all of them are on one big grind ring okay. suspended above the ground. So it's just this one that's yeah. kind of yeah. weird. And this level, we noticed in the stream, this level was sort of boring. Yeah. The next few levels doing a lot more colorful. So, after you destroy the transmitter, you get access to the race level, and so... We're going to see some Lovecraftian horrors, and this is going to be... Um, terrifying. Interesting. Like, look at that. It's a fish, straight-up fish dude. Yeah. So, you're just racing this fish dude yeah, down a just, tunnel. Down this tunnel. The... Race levels are always going to have a lot of rails to grind. This is reminding me quite a lot of Razor Freestyle Scooter. Yes. I'm having some PTSD flashbacks. <laughs> the PTSD? Yeah. All right. So the developers kind of expect you to grind and take a lot of rails and get a good combo going because if you have a high adrenaline meter, holding down L2 gives you a speed boost but uses up part of the adrenaline meter. Yeah, that, that the adrenaline meter being the, the, the thing the, on the, the right. spheres or whatever on the... But, the anal beads on the right. But if you nose manual while going down a slope, you will just rock it forward. Oh. So the aesthetic tactic, I showed it off way earlier, but like yeah. nose manual, don't crash into anything, and enjoy winning by like five seconds instead of this being a close race like they want you to be. Yeah, the first time you played this, you actually lost a couple times because, yeah, see, you're going way faster. You just bump into that. Yeah. When I streamed, I just could not get my head around it, and I kept Whoa. losing this. Oh, never mind. 104.99. Alright, so, it turns out that our I fish love, dude I was... Crafting horror turns I into? Crafter was a bandmate in disguise. Oh, so girl, we, oh boy. We freed the lead singer of yeah. the band, which some of you might have noticed uh, the band at the beginning. The song was being sung by a man. Yeah. And also, the song is one of the songs on the soundtrack that is done by an actual band that like a license track. license track that can show up <sighs> which is weird yeah so that's but that's world tour it's kind of standard yeah you know? but it has been a while till we played this since is we a played really good these. menu track but it sounds Seriously, like peanut butter wolf he knocks it out of the park here even though this, this is another license really song really familiar actually I think I've heard this in another game or something. I don't know, whatever. Maybe somebody, if, if I have, maybe somebody in the comments can say something. Alright, well that's World Tour. I hope you enjoy. You know, it's still kind of a fun game to look at. Maybe. Yeah, not too bad. How, how long is this game? It is eight levels. Okay, so not so, too bad. Yeah, eight parts.